Okay, so I wanted to show something very specific about uh, damping. So I wanted to show the difference between critical damping, underdamped, and overdamped systems, and then also show what lightly damped looks like. So this is what we have. So we have our, our mass and Satachua spring, and I have these all set for very specific values. And so right now the damping constant is at 2.5, which is set for critical damping. So what this means is critical damping is there's no oscillation in the spring. There will be no oscillation in the spring. And the spring returns to its equilibrium position as quickly as possible. So let's see this in action. I pull it to the side and it just goes shoop right there. Okay. Now, if I go on either side of this, I'll get overdamped or underdamped. So if, if I go higher, this is an overdamped situation. The spring goes back to the middle, but not the quickest to the possible, not as quick as possible, right? So uh, the system is not oscillating, but it takes a little while, a little longer to get to equilibrium. And you see, if I go way over, it takes even longer to get back to equilibrium because there's too much drag in the system. Okay. Now let's go to the underdamped situation. So if I go to slightly underdamped, what'll happen? Well, I release my mass and it goes down and then up a little bit. Do you see that? Down and then up a little bit. Let's, let's go a little more. It goes down and then up a little bit. And there we see a little, some sort of wiggling up and forth or up and down. And as we go further and further all the way to the side, we'll see that with a very, very small damping constant, it wiggles back and forth a bunch and it takes a while for it to die out. So this is what's called light damping. And this will be the regime where we do a lot of our work. Light damping is nice because the frequency is actually approximately this, the same as the, like the angular frequency is approximately the same as a regular harmonic oscillator and it doesn't have any correction or it has a small correction from the, the drag coefficient. So those are the four situations you should know about, but the one that we're going to work the most with in class is light damping.